Okay, so first ailment we'll go over is um, for headaches. For headaches, there's many different points on the head and the neck area that we're going to concentrate on so we can find those areas that they're having problems. With headaches, one of the main things you want to ask them first is, is where is their head headache located? So if they're, let's say their headache is located more like around their eyes, like um, sunglasses, we're going to go after the suboccipital muscles what is what we're going to do then. And I myself like to work on the neck and shoulder region uh, a lot more in the supine position because you can perform neck stretches and movements um, to get at those areas a lot better. It is possible in the prone position to get at that, at those areas for the neck, but again, for the actual stretches, it's a little bit harder to get at those areas. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to go after the suboccipital muscles, and those are right underneath the suboccipital ridge and on the suboccipital ridge too. But you just got to be careful of going right on the suboccipital ridge, so what we're going to do with that one is just compress a little bit and just kind of pull it up, so we're kind of tractioning, almost like a myofascial release type technique for that, so we can treat that area. And with deep tissue techniques, you want to ask permission too, is if it's ever too painful, let them know, um, so you can back off a little bit. So watch your reactions. The biggest area they're going to tense up is their fingers and their toes. So those are the biggest area that they're going to tense up if it's ever too much pressure. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to just hook our fingers right underneath there. And like with trigger point therapy, you can just hold it there for 5, 10, 15, 20 seconds if you need to, too. And another option is, a, is called ischemic compression. Ischemia means lack of blood flow. So what we're basically doing is pushing in there, we're blocking the blood flow, we're holding that. And eventually, after 10 seconds or so, the pressure should alleviate some. So what we're going to do is we're going to back off a little bit, have them breathe in real deep, and then when they breathe out, go a little bit deeper so the, so the next layer of the muscle then. So again, ischemic compression for that area then. So you can do that three or four times. So you can get each layer of the muscle then for the ischemic compression. A lot of circular friction right in that area works really good to warm up that area too. So you don't, anytime you're performing deeper work, never go right directly in to that painful area. And the belief behind pain areas is if you're treating the area that they're having pain, you're in the wrong area 75% of the time. So that's why most of the headache muscles are neck and shoulder region. So what you're going to do is you're going to treat the neck and shoulder region to treat the actual headache points there. So again, we're going to get into that area and do like circular friction. And another one, you can just go horizontal, back and forth, right underneath the subic slipper ridge too. And deeper work, just make sure you're performing it really slow. Because the faster you go, the more superficial. But uh, the trick is, once you go a little bit deeper, you got to slow it down. And again, watch your reactions, make sure it's not too painful at all. So again, you're just going back and forth, back and forth. And this is considered like cross fiber friction. So the muscle grain, muscle grain goes up and down like this, so we're just going across a little bit deeper to even break up a little bit of scar tissue. Some problems is people have like bone spurs on this area too that can cause headaches. So that's an, another problem with that. Us as massage therapists, we do a lot better with tension headaches. Those are muscle related, but migraines we do okay with. Sometimes we can't help those totally. So um, the migraines are more vascular, so we can't um, benefit those as much. But again, tension headaches we do a lot better with. But if they are dehydrated, sometimes people have headaches that are um, if they're dehydrated. You gotta be careful of that too, because we wanna make sure they drink a lot of water after the massage, so two to three glasses at least within the first hour, just so they can hydrate themselves. Otherwise, they can um, develop even more headaches or intense headaches after the treatment then. So massage, it's a diuretic, so it flushes fluid out of your body is what it does then. So also with this, you can use your knuckles and kind of hook right underneath here to get at those areas for the headache.
get it, you can kind of roll your knuckles too. 